Hello, I'm Anna from Eco Sawyer. I'm going to show you how to make a container candle using Eco Sawyer wax. Eco Sawyer wax is 100% natural, it's vegan, biodegradable, and it's super easy to use. So you can be sure that when you're using it, you're making the right choice for both you and the environment. So I'm going to show you everything that you're going to need to make an Eco Sawyer candle. So first of all, you're going to need some Eco Sawyer wax. Eco Sawyer wax comes in pastels, so it's really easy to measure and melt. You're going to need a set of scales. You're going to need a melting vessel. You're going to need something to heat your wax, so your hob at home is going to work just fine. You're also going to need a container, and you're going to need a wick centering tool. You're going to need a pouring jug, some fragrance oil, a thermometer, and a stirring spoon. So that's everything that you need, so let's get started. Step one, wick your container. So I've decided on the size of container I'm going to use and I've chosen a wick that is suitable. Natural waxes tend to require a larger wick than traditional paraffin waxes, so make sure you bear this in mind. So to wick my container, I'm going to use a wick sticker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my wick and I'm going to adhere it to the centre of the container as best I can. So I'm just using my eye to judge this. Okay, perfect. Step two, we're going to melt our wax. So I'm going to weigh the wax first to make sure that I've got the correct quantity for my container. Okay, perfect. So now that I've weighed my wax, I'm going to melt it in my double boiler. If you don't have a double boiler at home, you can always use a glass bowl over a regular pan on your hob, just in the same way that you would melt chocolate. I'm gonna transfer it. Okay. Now I'm going to heat this to around 75 degrees Celsius to melt, using my thermometer to check for accuracy. When you're melting, make sure not to get the wax to over 90 degrees because this can cause discoloration. Okay, so the wax is melted and we're ready to move on to the exciting part, which is adding fragrance. So I've already decanted my melted wax into my pouring jug and I've selected a fragrance oil which is suitable for use in natural wax. So I've pre-weighed my fragrance oil so I've got about 8% fragrance here, but Eco Soya can take up to 12%. So I'm just keeping an eye on the temperature of my melted wax. So I want to add my fragrance oil close to pouring temperature. Yeah, my wax is now reaching around 60 degrees. So I'm going to add my fragrance oil. And I'm just gonna give it a really good stir to make sure that it's all combined with the wax just so that we get that really good scent throw that we're looking for. Okay, so it's now time to pour. I've given my wax a really good stir and I'm happy that it's now ready to go into the container. So I've already pre-wicked my container and I'm just gonna use a wick centering tool just to keep it steady while I pour the wax into the container, okay? And I'm gonna leave around a one centimeter gap at the top. And Eco Sawyer only requires a single pour, so you'll get a smooth surface from a single pour with no need to do a second. Okay, so final step. I've allowed my candle to cool and cure for 48 hours. And I'm now just going to trim the wick nice and close. Nice sharp pair of scissors. And there you have it, there's our finished candle. So I hope you enjoyed making your Eco Sawyer candle and make sure to share yours with us on social media.